Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you celebrated Memorial Day, I hope that you enjoyed your holiday. For today's project, I do have what I believe is the fastest and easiest envelope mini album. This sweet little album is so chunky and sturdy and nice. It's a great way to scrap your stash and it has so much space inside for your pictures and journaling. So this will be fun to create and also fun to finish. So if that sounds good to you, then stick with me and we'll make it together. Okay, as I mentioned, I've got my envelopes here and these are a standard number 10 size security envelope. Now you can find these anywhere in a reasonable quantity or you can be like me and get them from Costco and you'll have 500 of them for 20 years because everyone pays their bills online now. So we have quite a few of these to make mini albums with. So I've got four of those envelopes and then I also have four pieces of 65 pound weight cardstock. This is what is going to become our spine and so I have this cut to be four and one eighth of an inch high by two and a quarter inches wide. It's scored at one and also one and a quarter and then we will have that quarter inch on the end for the depth that we need for all the layering that we have included. So we'll just set these here for the moment. Now you'll see that we have our envelope and I have folded it exactly in half. So what we're going to have now is a lot of thickness from all these paper layers and then a beautiful, nice, clean, finished edge all the way around. So for the work that you would have to do to get that finished look, you can have it already done just by folding that envelope in half. So we've got four here. I think you could probably do an additional one or two, but then you would probably want to consider reinforcing your spine. And I just want to make this a very fast and easy project because I think sometimes the fun part is how you fill it, not just how you create the base. So here are my envelopes and I'm going to have my tape added only to half and only to the outside edges. And so this is just a regular double-sided adhesive. The first thing I want to do is join these spine pieces together. So I've got my pieces that have the tape. I'll just pull that now and I do want to add a small layer of my Tombow. This is my two glue combo and I'm putting that pretty low so that it doesn't squeeze out. Then I will join it to the next piece. So this is going to create about a three quarters of an inch spine. And so that will be perfect to be able to fill this up with a lot of fun finishing details. So now I have two of these joined and you can see that it's very easy to get them lined up because they're all cut to be that same measurement. So let's take our last piece here and I can tell you that you probably want to stick with that 65 pound weight because you do want a nice crisp score line to fold and anything thicker might actually crack. So I can see that I have already added my adhesive to the wrong side of this one, but that's okay. I'll just take off my double-sided backing here and then we'll add an additional layer when we get to that point. Sometimes it's hard when you're preparing pieces in advance to get everything going in the right direction, but that is easy to overcome. Now, remember we do wanna add that other row of Tombow. So let's just put that here and then join the next set onto it. So I'm folding it right on that score line so it's easy to determine how you wanna get that lined up along the edge and then also on the top and the bottom. Give this a good press, even though there is some double-sided adhesive to hold it in place, you do have that wet 
glue so you want to make sure that you get a good contact. So when I have all three joined, I've got my three quarters of an inch spine. So now I want to lay this on to my envelope. First I'm going to pull the tape backing off and then I'm going to bring in more of my Tombow. See here's where my adhesive should have been on this side, but that's okay. We can just add a little bit more. I do want to have a one inch depth on this just to make sure that it won't come out and there's plenty of room for the adhesive. So what I want to do is line up the edge of my envelope along that score line. So here is my extra row of Tombow. So, and I'm just going to line that up right along my score line and press that into place. Now, remember, we do have the adhesive on that flap, and I'm just going to pull the tape now and put one more row of my Tombow here and then fold that over to secure that. So this is going to be one page and we already have so many layers of paper and that is where we're gonna get that great thickness from. So let's go ahead and just repeat that process for the remaining three pieces here. Okay, so we have all of those envelopes added and this is going to be the perfect sturdy base for all of our finishing layers. I'm going to show you one way to do that today, but as I'm working along cutting my paper, my mind is just sort of turning out other ideas on how I can finish this and add some different variations so you can see how versatile it is. But honestly, this has been the easiest and fastest base I think I have ever created. And so I think this is going to be a definite uh, one that I go back to over and over again. And I think that you will too once you try it. Now I have one prepared already and I have plans to finish this one in another video, but I just wanted to show you that I do have this created in the exact same manner. Now, the next easy part of this is adding on the fillers. And so I want to add a colorful cardstock and a pattern paper as well. I picked a sort of nautical theme for this book. It is sort of a summer holiday palette. It's red, white, and blue, but it isn't theme specific. So I think it will be good for uh, summer holidays or summer vacations or anything like that. So you don't have to use this just for a specific holiday. Now I do have that cardstock cut to be eight inches high by four and a half inches wide. I'm going to get a layer of the cardstock and then also a border of the white base showing. So that will give me all those nice layers and I will have two for each set of pages. So I'm going to finish this with my pattern paper. So my pattern paper is going to be 
three and seven eighths by four and three eighths. And I am just picking patterns to complement each other on the layers that show. You don't have to do that. You can mix and match these as little or as much as you like, but I wanted the two pieces that show together to match. So my inside pages match, and then the outside pages match as well. This is a great stash buster project. You can really get through a lot of your stash by covering all the inside and outside of these. So now what I wanna do is add this to my book. And I'm gonna go back to my two glue combo for this, just to be extra secure. And so I'm going to, once again, go in from the edge so that none of it squeezes out and makes a mess. So this is just one of the ways to finish the inside. I also think I wanna do some form of pockets. And so that could be coming in another video real soon. So these are gonna be flip pages that fold up. And so my score line is there on the top and I'm just centering that right on my book and you will see that it will open in this direction. So I have prepared the other pieces in exactly the same way with the exact same measurements. So I'll just go ahead and add those now. I'm going to go ahead and finish the back here before we move on to finishing the front. So the cardstock for this is four high by four and a half wide. And the pattern paper is three and seven eighths by four and three eighths. So that's just going to cover the back. This is a pattern that is not in the collection that I used, but it did have the same color palette and vibe. So I'm just going to substitute this for the collection that was nautical. And I think it still coordinates pretty well. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the front. First thing I wanna do is add my ribbon closure. This is a beautiful checkerboard satin from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I do want to tie a generous bow. So let's just pull off some of this trim and set a piece of our double-sided tape down the middle so that I can keep this positioned where I want and I can sandwich that trim in between all the paper layers. So I picked the same pattern for the front as I did the back, and I'm just gonna go ahead and center that right on the cover and that will hold our ribbon trim in place. Now I do want to add a layering pattern here as well. You don't have to, but I just kind of wanted to have a nice variety of these patterns on the front. And so I just cut this to be the width of my pattern paper. I do have a die cut doily. And I'm going to place this further toward the right hand side to make room for my flower arrangement. And so this looks a little bit off center now. I will top that with 
my image. And this was part of one of the cut apart or journal cards from the collection. And it would have originally been three by four. I just clipped out the center portion and it had a nice blue border. So I'm able to keep those good noticeable layers going. And so I did place that on with foam spacer. So that's a little bit of dimension for the cover. Now here's my flowers. I did not have room for a larger arrangement because this is a smaller, kind of more compact, chunky mini album. So I just have a smaller uh, arrangement here. This is a lotus flower from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and I altered it by pulling off the darker sections and then adding them back to each other. And I finished off the center with some stamens, also from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I paired that larger flower with some red flowers that I created myself using some offcuts from other projects. And then of course I have my leaves, my netting, and my loopy twine bows. So that is just gonna go right here in the corner and that's gonna anchor this side and help to create a nice balance. Even though this is a smaller arrangement, I do want to add that with hot glue just to make sure that it's well secured. So I think that looks really nice there on the side. I have a couple of charms here in a nautical style. So it's just a ship wheel and a shell. I wanted to anchor these right here so that they don't cover up too much of my sentiment on that cut apart. So I'm just very carefully seeing where that lands and then I will hold it in place until I can get it glued down. So I think that's where I like it. Putting that glue and then capturing that string into the glue. I'll cut off the excess and then top that with a button to hide the cut ends of the string. Last but not least, I do have a couple of sequins here to add, and that's going to be it for our folio. I think that you would agree that this is such an easy and fast base that you'll be returning to this for lots of other projects. So I am also excited to share how versatile it is by creating different ways to fill the inside. So I'm gonna use my Tombow to secure these sequins. And I've got one that's up on the image and then two down onto the pattern paper, just so that I can spread that extra detail out a little further. Then we'll tie a nice bow here. And that's gonna be it for our super easy chunky mini album created with the security envelopes if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave me a comment and a big thumbs up remember you can find links for our socials in the description below and if you're not already i would love for you to subscribe and join my crafty little family 